is striking more younger people according to recent studies and scientists are really struggling to find out why and what to do about it. Our medical expert Dr. David Winter from Baylor Scott and White Health joins us to explain all of it. Good morning Dr. Winter. Tell us about these new findings of cancer in young people. Well, there's some good news and some bad news. Good news, though, actually, worldwide, or at least in North America, Australia, and Western Europe, cancer's been on the decline. We see early detection, better treatments. Overall, it's much better. However, in young folks, different story. People under age 50 were seeing an increase in cancer, about 13% from what it was a couple decades ago. So a little bit of an increase, but that's a concern for younger folks in particular. Older folks, not so much. Certainly sounds concerning. Is it for all cancers, by the way, or just certain types of it? You know, it's interesting to me that it's mainly in the intestinal tract. So I've got my model here to show. We're talking about cancers in the throat, in the esophagus, in the stomach, on down into the intestines, the colon, the appendix, over here in the rectum. And then for women, also uterine cancer, all those are increasing if you look at colon cancer in particular, it's up double what it was in people under age 50 for a month from a year ago, and rectal cancer is up four times. Not sure what that's all about, but it's a big concern for the younger folks. Mm. Do researchers have any idea why all this is happening? Is there something in our environment, so to speak, or something that we are eating responsible? You know, here's an example. We know that one bacteria, Helicobacter, Helicobacter pylori, hard one to say, hard one for me to say. That one does increase the chance of stomach cancer. In fact, most stomach cancers are from that. That's a bacteria. Most of the other ones don't cause a problem from bacteria. We're not sure about that. Is it the toxins in the environment, something we're eating, something we're drinking? Lots of research going on right now, but we don't really know why it's going up. More screening maybe is one way to try to get ahead of this thing in younger folks. Okay, and I gotta always ask you this, given all of this information, what do you suggest we do to decrease our chances of getting cancer? You know, the biggest decrease in cancer worldwide is people quitting smoking, because we know cancer is caused both in the throat, the esophagus, the stomach, the bladder, the lungs, of course. Uh, all that is going down because there's less smoking out there right now. Excessive alcohol is thought to be a concern. Some are worried about spicy foods, particularly if it upsets your stomach. Uh, some of the toxins that are out there, perhaps, and some of the supplements. We don't really know for sure. We just need to, need to keep looking at this. I think the best advice we could give is just be careful with what you do, good eating habits. Uh, be careful with getting exercise. That does seem to help some. More exercise can benefit. Don't uh, smoke, of course, and get regular checkups. Those can make the difference, Tashara. Okay. Dr. David Winter, always great to have you. Thank you so much. Thank you.